What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we are continuing with the RPG series. This is gonna be an extremely quick video just to fix an issue that we have with the Bolton system. And it's basically that we can motion warp through big objects. Literally go through it, you will see it in a second. And it was uh, basically thanks to the videos that you guys were putting in the Discord server. I could localize the problem and fix it, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you haven't joined the Discord server, go ahead, link in the description, and you can you know put any issues that you are having or whatsoever, or share your work, talk to, talk to other devs, and so on. And yes, finally, in the next episode, we'll begin with a big equipment system, okay? We'll begin to make all the database structures and items and so on. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll begin with a big uh, equipment system, okay? Anyway, this is gonna be an extremely quick video and easy to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so basically, let me show you the issue. It's basically when we uh, hit play, of course, we can motion uh, bolt over the objects like always but the thing is that when we get into very high objects we can actually go ahead and motion uh, warp into it and go through it and basically we'll be having the middle point over there as you can see so let me show you what is the issue and what is happening so basically as you can see when we motion warp we're having this line traces the thing is that when we motion warp in here it is doing the same thing but it is instantly going ahead and colliding okay so when it starts the line trace it will collide and for some reason unreal engine goes ahead and verifies this as a good point <laughs> so it sets up the middle points to be inside of the object because i mean it's colliding with something and then we go through it and the landing point uh, puts it in a correct place so that's a problem and the only thing that we have to check is that if our middle point is going ahead and overlapping through an object and with that, we should be able to go ahead and fix the issue. So what we have to do is go quickly into the third person character blueprint. And let's go into our motion uh, warping system. Now vaulting. So here it is. Motion, uh, vault motion warp. And it will be basically on our calculations. Uh, so we're, what is it? Oh yeah, here, sorry. Vault. Vault. We did it in a nice function. Uh, so... Uh, of course, this is from episode 2, well, technically 3, so you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out, of course. Uh, but the, the problem is with our second uh, trace. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So right on here, when we break the uh, first loop, and so on, and we continue with the second one, we're having an issue here. So basically, when we are making our uh, middle point with this, this very trace, and then we'll finish up with the other uh, trace over here. In this exact point over here, we have to check if this trace is basically overlapping with an object. So the only thing we have to do is basically add an intermediate node over here. So we're gonna go into true, of course, because we are going ahead and colliding and make another branch. And this branch, let's go ahead and hold out and uh, left click. I'm gonna connect it with false because this is gonna be if we are not initially overlapping. Let's get initial overlapping and just plug it on the condition. So of course, if we have, you know, detected an object, we go into here and then we check if we are overlapping. If not, we do it like normally. But if we are overlapping, which is the, the issue that we're having, we have to do a series of things, which is real, real quick. So what we have to do is get the can warp um, variable and we have to set it to be false okay right on the tree over here so it's gonna be false and the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and go and set the uh the vault land pause to be in a certain radius and you will see why so we have to go ahead and set vault uh land pause okay and the landing position will be if we go into the bank real quick we can go to the motion warp I'm going to the end, and you can see that here we are standing up into this very high number, basically 20,000. Let's go ahead and copy this uh, this number, or you can just manually put it on here. I'm going to put it again on set. And I'm going to show you why we're doing this in a second. But right after that, what I have to do is go and uh, basically break the next, uh, the next loop, okay? So, uh, actually, yeah, that, that should be good. Um... Yeah, so we just directly need to plug it on here, okay? So we'll continue here, yes. Because it will need to break 
uh, the loop so we will not continue because if not in the next iteration we will be able to motion warp again okay so it's doing <laughs> some weird things over here but uh, there we go great okay so now we can uh, actually compile and save and the reason that we're we putting this value into a very high value is the exact reason that we did it on the motion warp and it's because right at the front we check if we are in range so if the land pause is between 50 and uh, plus 50 uh, on the character and if not we will not be able to motion warp so that's basically the fix pretty much okay so now you will see that actually the issue will be resolved we can go ahead and still of course motion and uh, um, both over normal objects but when we get into our big one we will not be able to motion warp and you can see that everything is working as you can see still we are detecting other objects but we can still go ahead and jump through this but we cannot motion warp into this because th there's no space for a land position or in here so everything is going ahead and working perfectly fine so yeah if you have any issue at all with the motion warping please let me know in the discord server with a video or a clip of your blueprint or what is happening as it will really help me out and if you have already seen this episode and verify you have exactly what i have please add in the message that you have seen this episode which i believe is 13 i have a you know loose track already but uh, if you have seen this episode please let me know in the in the message so you can see so i can see that you have like up-to-date uh, changes okay and like i mentioned before you know double check your code because it's a pretty big uh you know blueprint with a lot of notes everywhere and arrows and so on so please double check everything uh you know in, in episode two of course or well, technically episode three we do it uh correctly okay so double check that and that's pretty much it yes in the next episode we'll finally begin with the big equipment system we'll start to set up the database the structure the item and so on and you know it probably will take a couple of episodes similar to what uh, the combat system took maybe a bit more maybe a bit less we'll see depending on the length of the videos and the complexity but i'm excited to finally start with a big equipment system so yeah and of course we will continue on with the rpg series sorry if this you know uh week i've been extremely busy so i couldn't upload really any uh, uh rpg series video but here we are okay so uh with all that said guys like the video and subscribe to my channel if you found it helpful um and then also you know go ahead and join my discord server like i already mentioned and follow me on my socials through twitter and instagram and now yes with all said bye bye